<sighs> All right. Now I think it's about time I can start my break. Okay, I'll do it. Hello everyone, I'm Dren Hanamata, and I've been tagged in Revive and Continue by Sega Head. And despite trying to be on break, I guess I'll go ahead and do this. <sighs> this is a series of videos in which we choose what games we would like to continue in their franchise, and what games we would like to bring back to life. Hence, Revive and Continue. So as far as I can tell, the rules are that you choose one game franchise for each category, and then you have to choose two or more people to do the next ones. Now I'm going to make this a little quicker than it probably should be, so I'm going to start by what game franchise would I like to have revived. Now without further ado, the game I'd like to bring back from the grave and revive is Chrono Trigger. Call me basic, but this is a game that I think really deserves all the recognition it gets and then some. Part of why I want to see this game come back is because I've already seen tidbits of a remake, a teaser if you will, called Chrono Trigger Resurrection that was made by independent developers but got shut down by Sony. Fantastic! But even more than that, it's also something that I'd love to see continue. I want to see what happens. I'm sure there's Chrono Cross, but even then it still hasn't gone any further from there. I still want to see more of this world. Hell, if they made a Chrono Trigger 2, I wonder what they could bring to the table. It does seem like there's a lot of unanswered questions to me. And let's face it, this game's come ported to the PS1, the DS, I think a Game Boy. Now for those of you who don't know about the game, let me just give you a little example of what it is. It's a game that deals with manipulation of time, in which you have to go forward and back in time and do different things to get different outcomes and change what the future is by changing the past. And you and your adventurers get caught up in all these shenanigans in order to see the world! If you want to see more, I strongly just recommend getting your own copy. Because boy, do they deserve it. And now as for a game franchise I hope continues, I have to say, the Katamari series. Now this is something that is just that shit insane, and I love every bit of it. In fact, it was so much that I decided to get the crappy phone game. I didn't have it very long, but these games made it appealing enough that I tried it anyway. Between Kalamari Damacy, We Love Katamari, Beautiful Katamari, Katamari Reroll. Shoot. We need more. Now, if I had any suggestions on where to go next, I would strongly suggest starting even smaller and then having levels in which you go from small to big all the way to the minimum, all the way up to the maximum. You sort of have this through the games, but I feel like if they went even smaller, it'd be even more fun because, honestly, some of the levels are weirdly short. Different challenges, different things to do, different outcomes, it's all wonderful. But I think even smaller would be interesting. Your character is only three inches tall, and I wouldn't be surprised if you had cousins that were even shorter. Maybe certain cousins would actually have to require certain levels in order to be able to do. So say there was a subatomic level that you had a subatomic cousin. Go figure. And that way you could go all the way from down to, say, even atomic, all the way up to galactic. Now, wouldn't that be interesting? Now, I know that Flash games have done this before, going down to a very much smaller level, but I feel like Kamari Damacy could really perfect it. And hopefully, we'll see that in the future. Alright, and continuing off with the formula that Sega had left us off on, I'm going to select two more people to be tagged in the next videos. To which my first one is... Retro Wolf 88 And the other one is... Jorgogo. Now these are two creators that I enjoy quite a lot. In fact, I've been helping George Gogo ever since he made his channel. If it wasn't for him, I certainly wouldn't know about a lot of the channels I know today. And Retro Wolf, I've seen the way he works. He's a great guy, and I know he has a lot of good input, and I'd really like to see it. So, hopefully we'll see those videos relatively soon, however they want to make them, and I can't wait to see who they want to tag after that.
Alright, I think I'm about ready to take a break. This season's got me pretty taxed out. And this video really came up abruptly, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it with this. Thank you for watching, and feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to be my buddy. And always remember, you have potential.